Hello, welcome to Anson Griffiths occasional series of YouTube tutorials in MATLAB. Today we're looking at how to draw bounding boxes around objects of interest. So let's just get on with it here. So so the mouse is, yeah, we tidy up as before, we read in the image and we just show it there. Now that image that I got off the net is actually a JPG, so we've got to convert that to a black and white. So where we are now we used a nested function we convert the grayscale and then convert the black and white and we've done that now the next thing we want to do is we want to label each image bw label uh, this returns here the label l is the labeled objects and num is the number of objects then what we want to do is we want to get the bounding box of each object. Now remember, this is sort of set up for us here. If we just look up here, uh, white objects are the objects of interest and black is the background. So what it will do is it will go around and get the bounding box properties of each particular object. So th they are there. And there, if memory serves me correct, there is 14 of them there so it'll give me the x y and the extent in x and the extent in y and now we want to draw a bounding box around each so we there's the figure i am show there's the title hold on why do we need to hold on because remember we're going to be drawing um, a red box 14 times or whatever the length of bounding boxes is so how often do we want to know well here we're going around the length of bounding boxes which is 14 so we're at on the first go around the for loop we're on bounding box one bounding box two bounding box three bounding box four etc so then we use the rectangle command to position there's the four coordinates current bb1 current bb2 current bb3 current bb4 the edge color we've defined as red and the line width as two now these are tunable you can make them green and blue or five or whatever it is and uh, finally we just say hold off so if you're going on uh, you would then be able to draw a new figure okay so short and sweet i hope and thanks very much for listening